towards the beginning of the winter season and the beginning of the Christmas month. The weather was snowy and covered the island in a beautiful white blanket. This would keep the engines busy, however, as they would have to plow through the snow with their snow plows, all to pull passenger trains and haul freight. The engines of Sodor loved the Christmas season, but no engine loved it more than Thomas. Thomas always loved to see happy children and festive decorations at every station. What he especially loved was that he got to see the Kindly family, especially Mrs. Kindly. He still remembered the time Mrs. Kindly saved him from a mudslide at a tunnel near her home. Thomas was pulling Annie and Clarabelle down his branch line when Mrs. Kindly's home came into view. He gave a loud whistle, expecting her to wave through the window. But as he passed, she never came out. She always says hello, he stated sadly. She just might not be home, said the driver. We have all month to see her. Besides, we'll get to see her family in Nafford if we hurry. This made Thomas feel much better as he hurried along the track. When Thomas arrived, he did see the kind they found. But instead of a warm hello, they turned to him with worried faces and walked away. Thomas was hurt. What's the matter with them? They always say hello. Perhaps they're tired of seeing you every year, said Jane. They might like to see a different engine for once, like me! Before Thomas could say anything else, James chucked away importantly. As Thomas left the station, he felt very upset. It's not true, is it? When Thomas was at the yards in Farquhar, all we could think about was what James had said. He became more and more hurt at the thought as it lingered in his funnel. Stupid James! He doesn't know what he's talking about! They love me! Mrs. Connie loves me! Thomas was soon so distracted that he wasn't watching what he was doing. Soon enough, there was a loud crash. Thomas snapped out of his thoughts to find that he had derailed some trucks by accident. Oh dear, sighed Thomas. Oh dear indeed, said a stern voice. It was Sir Topham Hatt. What happened, Thomas? You hadn't been this careless in a long time. Thomas looked to his buffers before explaining everything. Sir Topham Hatt then let out a huge sigh. I will speak to James later, but that isn't the reason they aren't talking to you. He then took off his hat. A sad frown was on his face. Thomas, Mrs. Kindly is gone. The atmosphere changed. Gone to where, sir? Thomas asked softly. A better place. It happened while she was asleep. She went peacefully. Her family didn't want to say anything to you. They didn't have the heart to. I'm sorry, Thomas. I really, truly am. Thomas had gone incredibly silent. Looking down to his buffers, he tried to hide his tears. The days after felt cold and lonely for poor Thomas. James did apologize to Thomas, but Thomas didn't say anything in return. Thomas didn't feel excited for Christmas anymore. All he could think about was his memories with Mrs. Kindly.
I hope Thomas can get his Christmas spirit back. Don't you?